Well, stem cell research has a rich history here at the University of Wisconsin. There have been a number of pioneering discoveries uh, by many investigators over years here, starting with some of the discoveries that allowed uh, transgenic mice to be made, which is an important biomedical research tool, but probably the most exciting discovery was made by Dr. Jamie Thompson here in a paper published in 1998 in Science, where he was the first person to successfully, in his lab group, to successfully isolate human embryonic stem cells. Um, those cells are master stem cells. They can form all the cell types present in the human body. Those uh, stem cells have been a very useful tool in developing new approaches to study human biology, but also bringing the possibility of new therapies where we can provide cells potentially that can repair injured uh, tissue, injured organs such as the heart. The next most exciting uh, recent discovery here and uh, at other places around the world is the discovery of induced pluripotent stem cells uh, from human cells that have been what we call reprogrammed. That is, we can take cells from a your skin, and we can uh, change those cells into master stem cells like the embryonic stem cells that potentially can form all cell types in the body. My laboratory has done a number of studies uh, showing that we can make these human embryonic stem cells into functioning heart muscle. Uh, we can make them into different types of heart muscle cells, the cells that are present in the upper chamber of the heart. Those are atrial cells. Uh, the cells that are present in the lower chamber of the heart, those are called ventricular cells. So those are the main working cells that generate uh, the pumping activity that generates our blood pressure. And also we've shown that we can make those cells into pacemaker or nodal cells, so the cells that set the pace of the heart. Uh, we've also done work with induced pluripotent stem cells. We've shown that uh, the human induced pluripotent stem cells taken from skin samples and reprogrammed can generate all different sorts of heart cell types in a dish. Uh, we've studied the functional properties of those uh, cells and shown that they express the electrical properties that you would expect of heart cells, that they respond to the, the same sort of stimuli that your heart responds to. In other words, the fight or flight hormones that make our hearts go faster, make the cells in a dish go faster. So we think we're making true human heart cells that have relevance for clinical medicine. Other uh, discoveries relevant to stem cell uh, research here at UW are looking at other cell populations, for example, mesenchymal stem cells. Dr. Paiman Hamadi, Dr. Brenda Ogle, uh, and Dr. Amish Raval have all worked with mesenchymal stem cells. Those are stem cells that can be isolated from the, the bone marrow, and, and they seem to be cells that improve the environment of the injured heart. We don't think they necessarily make new heart muscle, but what those investigators and others have found is that if you put those cells in the injured heart, uh, that they tend to reduce the damage to the heart and reduce the chronic remodeling of the heart after a heart attack. For example, in a patient who has a, a large heart attack that's not treated, the heart generally starts to get weaker over time it, it, because it's working overtime. Part of the muscle is a scar. The remainder of the heart has to make up the difference, and so that extra work by the remaining functioning heart muscle over time is detrimental and the heart gets bigger and bigger and patients tend to go on and develop what's called heart failure. The mesenchymal stem cells show promise for blunting that what we call bad remodeling or adverse remodeling and so reducing the likelihood that patients will progress on to heart failure. Uh, other uh, discoveries relevant to heart and vascular uh, uh, research here at the University of Wisconsin uh, are related to understanding what progenitor cells are present in the heart that may hold some ability uh, to repair the injured heart muscle. Uh, Dr. Lucien Lisconzi uh, and Dr. Takushi Komodo and, and, uh, and colleagues have been working with some of these endogenous stem cells in the heart, what are called cardiac stem cells, have developed ways to isolate those stem cells and are looking at, for example, in patients who get left ventricular assist devices who have end-stage heart failure, how to isolate some of those cardiac stem cells and potentially put them back after they grow more of those stem cells and potentially make them into new heart muscle. So I think that's a, a, a bit of the research and, and some of the discoveries ongoing here, but I think that's only uh, skimming the surface. There are many uh, exciting projects ongoing uh, that are 
at various stages of development, and I think you're going to hear a lot more in the coming uh, months and years.